Hi, my name is Connie from EasyVideoCrochet.com and this video is brought to you courtesy of my friends at AllFreeCrochet.com so be sure to check them out. Okay, we're going to just go over the basic stitches of this little scarflet. The actual pattern will be on my blog. Um, okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to do make a um, slip knot and I just do that by holding my thumb and my forefinger uh, and then holding the other end with my with my middle finger and then you have your palm facing you with your index finger and then you just turn your palm away from you and you reach through that little that little circle that little loop and grab this piece and pull and what that does is it makes you a little slip knot that easily comes out now I'm I'm not going to do as many chains as specified in the pattern you'll do more I just want to give you the basics of how to do it so to do a, uh, to make your chain you yarn over and pull that loop through that slip knot that you've made and that's your first chain. You never count the loop that's on your hook. You, you yarn over, pull through that next loop, that's your second chain. Yarn over, pull through the loop, that's your third chain. You always do one more chain than the specified stitches. So the pattern actually calls for 15, so you'd actually chain 16. Um, so um, just remember that. There's not always one extra one. I'm going to do one more here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to start um, your, your first row uh, of single crochet. And single crochet, you come back, and what you do is you, you ignore this loop here on your hook, and you also ignore that first chain that's beside the hook. And you can remember that by it's always the loop that your yarn is like sliding through. So you always, you never pay attention to that where the loop, where the yarn is sliding through. And so that tells me that this is where I need to go. And if, you're, if your yarn is slippery and it, you feel like you're going to lose it, always just put your, little, your finger there, index finger to hold it. And then you push through this chain, yarn over, pull up a loop. You'll have two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through both. And that is a single crochet. And then you would just do that all the way across until you get to the end and we'll just pretend like this is because this is the end of the row but like I said yours will be wider because you'll do the designated amount of stitches and then what you have to do when you turn on um, single crochet you have to chain one before you turn so chain one is just yarning over and pulling through that loop like we did at the beginning and before you do your turn and to keep the sides of your work straight if you just always rem will remember these rules to begin your row then your sides will always be even and they won't be wonky um, so again don't pay attention to this loop on your hook or the one where the yarn is coming through where the yarn is moving through and so I know that this is actually the stitch that I would be going under but we're actually going to be um, doing back loop on the first row and I'll tell you I'll show you the reason for that uh, later so on this first single crochet row, we're going to do in the back loop. So instead of going under both V's, you're just going to go right in the middle, almost like you did with your chain, and that's called going into the back loop. So you'd yarn over, pull through, uh, and then pull through both, and then same thing again on the next one. And like I said, you might want to have to hold your little finger there to hold your yarn out of the way. And like I said, this has only got three, so we'll just do three. And then the last one. And sometimes that last one is a little hard to see, but just sort of finagle and your, your hook in there. And so we've done three back loop single crochets. Again, when we turn, we still um, have to chain one before we turn to give us that height of our single crochet row before we turn. Okay? Um, and then, like I said, you just now, now we're going to continue just to do regular single crochet, not through the back loop. And so we'll go under both of these. Um, hold the, this loop and then just go under both of these for a regular single crochet row. So I'm going to go under under both for just. A